Hello and welcome to my kitchen. I'm Rosie or Dr. Rosie, your doctor mom who's always looking for more efficient and effective ways of eating healthy and making eating on the go just doable, possible for all of us trying to race through life, especially in the early morning. So these are my four go-to breakfasts that I basically eat on rotation, either me, my spouse, my kids, every single day. Let's go. Number one, I call this literally the apple crumble in a bowl. It is cinnamon apple oatmeal, either one pack and some, or there's the same version, but with high protein, you get about three grams more of protein. It's cool, I love it, with some cottage cheese. I'll show you how I make it, really nothing fancy. Definitely one pack is not enough. So I do this. Then I go ahead and add just some plain instant oats. I go for about a quarter, a third of a cup. I'm not too busy with measuring, but whatever your taste buds need. I add my boiled water. Honestly, I don't measure anything. You choose. Some people like it more watery. Some people like it more dry. This literally takes about one minute to cook. I don't know if I mentioned, but all of these recipes take under five minutes, probably under one. So here is my cinnamon apple oats with, oh my God, if you have this alone, it's like you're having dessert for breakfast. But to make it more filling, to make it more protein packed and to keep me fuller for longer, especially when I'm on my busy days, going to work, dropping off the kids, I had cottage cheese, about half a cup. You do you. Half a cup is about 14 grams of protein, which is significant. Whereas this pouch with the oats alone is about eight to 10 grams. So altogether you have about 25 grams of protein. That I would say is a significant source of protein. And I guess you through the day. Option number two, I call this the proats and oats. It's a little bit more balanced, meaning you have your carbs, your fats, and your protein. What do I mean by that? So I start with my oatmeal again, about a third of a cup. I don't really measure, one scoop, two scoops, depending. If I'm working out, definitely going for two scoops. You do you. And then I go do the same with my massive protein pack. I have chocolate here, vanilla is really good too. So about half a scoop to one scoop, which I could tell you is 24 grams of protein for one scoop, that's high. So if I'm using about two thirds of a scoop, we have about 15 grams, plus again, my oatmeal. I add my boiled water and then I add some natural peanut butter just to make it like a real dessert because if you're on the sweet side, let me tell you, this is satisfying a sweet tooth, no problem. Again, I don't measure my water, so like don't go at me asking for measurements. You do you, find out what your taste buds like. I like a kind of creamy vibe. And then once it's cooked, which again takes one minute, I add a nice hefty tablespoon of natural peanut butter, which I get from Costco. You might like almond butter or hazelnut butter better, but it just makes a really full, creamy, kind of filling breakfast. I bring it to work on the go. I could bring it in my Tupperware, however you like to eat that. Breakfast number three is the same idea. I'm always trying to go for a balance of carbs, fat, and protein. I want it to be filling and I want it to last me a little bit of time. I usually go for a plain Greek yogurt. I also like vanilla, coconut, love it, but for all intents and purposes, this is what I've got today. So plain Greek yogurt and I pair it with a muffin. Either take it to go or eat it at home. Doesn't have to be rushed, but even on a weekday where I'm not busy, this is an excellent type of breakfast. So these are actually from my muffin guide, which you need to download because they are three of the healthiest recipes for muffins. They're all in the description below. These are the banana chocolate chip ones. My kids are obsessed. They made me make them at seven this morning. They've already eaten half the plate, as you can see. And that's it. So Greek yogurt, I usually add a bit of blueberries and it's delicious, really it is. What I love about these muffins that I do them all in one bowl, so it's no mess. And it actually takes me under 20 minutes with the cooking time. It's less than 10 ingredients. They're all healthy ingredients. The main sweetening agent is actually maple syrup and it's not a ton. Chocolate chips, because we are fancy like that, you don't need to put them. And yeah, I use applesauce instead of oil. You can watch my videos, how I explain the purpose of what to change, dietary changes to make things healthier. That is a principle to these muffin recipes that I made, all three of them. One is apple cinnamon. What is fruit and fiber, which imitates the McDonald's fruit and fiber one. And this one is a typical inspired from banana bread. And we literally all of it. That is both my kids, me and my spouse. Next up is a simple go-to, but more for the savory people, is eggs and cottage cheese. It gets all the protein that I need. I obviously have it with a slice usually of sourdough or two, put whatever you want on it. I have no sourdough here today, but let me show you how I make this. As I explain in my videos, I always start with some olive oil, about one tablespoon, depending on how many eggs I'm making. Today I'm just gonna do one egg and about one third of a cup of egg white. A third cup of egg white comes out to 10 grams of protein. One egg has about six grams, so to Together, that's 16, 17. And that's why I always like to complement it with a bit more cottage cheese. Half a cup is 15 grams. So together, this is a bulky 30 grams of protein breakfast. Solid start to the day. 
Have it with the carb of your choice. It could be a bagel, it could be a whole grain bread, whatever you like, but this is how I make it. And again, if I need more energy, like I'm going for a workout, I'm gonna go for two eggs and some extra egg whites. Don't be shy. If you wanna be fancy, you can add whatever you like, a bit of pesto, some Kalamata olives. I like to throw in spinach when I have it fresh. Right now, for the purpose of today's video, I am showing you the simple egg white and egg combo that I have with cottage cheese. I'll get fancy just for you guys. So this is my pesto sauce. Take it out of the fridge, add a few drops. It honestly reminds me of Green Eggs and Ham by Dr. Seuss. Now I understand the concept of green eggs. I figure this is what they meant. That's it. So this is my green eggs and ham, minus the ham. It's delicious, it's filling. I could add some salt or everything but the bagel spice. Thanks for watching. If you want more advice on how to live your best life possible, keep following, subscribe for more, because you are your greatest investment.